Casey, be safe. Sergeant Regina Richardson tries to do this daily. Right, She's on foot patrol in the 3100 block of West North Avenue. This is considered a hot spot. She describes it as a crazy corner. You okay, son? She does this in between emergency calls, which can happen at any moment. Federal consent decree monitors want police to spend more time on foot patrol. Residents we spoke with complain that officers spend most of their time in patrol cars waiting for a call. The cops don't know them and the people don't know the cops, so they don't have a rapport. I would like to see officers engage. If they see elderly people that need some help, help, help the elderly people if they can, you know, give the kids good advice. The department's goal is to have every officer spend at least 40% of their time on foot patrol and responding to citizens' quality of life concerns. The report acknowledges a chronic staffing shortage makes doing this difficult. The report also cites the fact police spend much of their time responding to emergencies. Baltimore City, now one. There was a major shooting. Somebody let us shot in the street. We spotted several missed opportunities for community engagement. For example, an officer sat in a patrol car rather than engage a large crowd gathered at this market for a resource fair on substance misuse. The monitoring team also tried to analyze dispatch data to calculate how much time officers spent on their beat. They couldn't, citing the fact 20% of the calls regarding officers on the scene were not recorded. Residents agree with the consent team that the department needs to do a better job of community relationship building. Get out of the cars, walk the beat. How would that help? That would make people to feel more trusting of them, you know. Bring them to despite the despite the struggle to spend more time on foot patrol, a survey by the monitoring team finds that 96 percent of officers say they are familiar with the issues and problems in the areas they serve. Reporting live from Northwest Baltimore, David Collins, WBIL TV 11 News.